Well, it's a good thing I'm here and all, but I forgot my audio equipment. Here we go. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla. Welcome to episode 4 of Resident Evil 1 run on the Sega Saturn. We're doing the Chris Red Redfield run. The one uh, the, the one I did very few times in my life. As we counted, it was two times before, uh, before the streams. So, this is the third time. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it was fun. We had Rebecca there. <laughs> I'm still laughing about that. I haven't laughed like that. For, because of a video game cutscene, I don't know, a very long, a very, very long time. Very, very rarely will a game make me laugh like that because I try to get them serious, as in I love this stuff, but that was just too much for me. So, yeah, <laughs> we had that. How's everyone doing there? Good to see you, family. Look, all the sisters are here. I'm building an empire. I just need my sisters, no one else. And uh, and there you go, the most successful Twitch channel on the on Twitch. <laughs> Zdravo Eko, zdravo Deco, Nina Gagi, zdravo Ljubka i zdravo Naco i Deni ako ste tu, zdravo Ana, zdravo Zokarda, <laughs> Zočarda, Zoran, I ne znam koga sam još propustio, ili ja sam, nisam, ko zna, mnogo vas imam, <laughs> yeah, haven't seen you in a while, Anči, we only see each other for, um, for these celebrations and stuff. Well, yeah, okay, I know, but I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Zdravo, mama, ako gledaš, a gleda negdje u budućnosti. Mama gleda na YouTube-u. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> Gotta hear that announcer. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? The first, very first ever Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Oh, my God, that voice. I don't know. No, There were mer many Resident Evil announcers. Every game had a different one. And... Some of them are good, some of them are not so good. I don't like the RE4 <laughs> Spanish one. Resident Evil. I don't know, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Six got a great announcer. Outbreak games have a fucking amazing announcer, especially Outbreak File 2 that... I can't even do that voice like... Resident Evil. But it's like... Rah! At the same time, I can't do that shit. But kudos who can. Oh, she's watching on TV. Nice, nice, okay. <laughs> then, then, the, then the greeting was on point. You have once again entered the world of survival horror. Horror. Good luck. I don't need luck, I need ammo. And I need teammates who are not gonna leave me. Like, <laughs> I can't. Rebecca won. If I, Man, if I had only remembered that, I guess, see, it wasn't funny when I was a kid. I didn't know what acting was, what was good acting. I just wanted to play these games. <laughs> but after, after yesterday, man. <laughs> you want me to come with you? Yes, I could use your help. Uh, okay. Bye. <laughs> so many things you can do with that. Matejce, zdravo Matejce. Eto, gledaš deda Mateju kako se igra. Oh, that's very nice. Everyone's here, really. Let's go through the scary door. <laughs> yeah, I hope they will pay us a visit to Ljubka. Gamut's at work, so he'll pop up at some point, probably. If he has no patience and uh, teste, teste is <laughs> semi grandpa, yeah. <laughs> semi grandpa. All right. Again, I have the remake. Yep, that's. Oh. Reload. Oh. I knew it. I fucking I shouldn't have shot again. They have they have that moment of. Are you getting up, sir? It's not allowed. What the fuck are you doing? Oh. Oh. Look, their their arms fell off. Well, its arm, his arm fell off. The other guy is still standing somehow. Man, 1990, 
96. Well, was this 96? I think it was 96. Best game we got that year. <laughs> there were a lot of good games in 96, but this was different. You have used the desk key, and you lost it in process somehow. I guess these drawers just swallow desk keys. You used one, so that's it. Bye bye There's a key in the cup. Oh, really? Wait, why didn't you take it? Okay, I just randomly got there, and here we go. A desk key. Did I find this uh, as a kid? As a teen? I doubt it. Nothing unusual, okay? Except, you know, the guys. So this room, this room in the remake, I love it. There's a thing here. I'm not going to spoil it for people who have never seen it. I know my sisters have never seen Resident Evil 1 remake. But man, they did something really good with this room. Can't wait to get there. Tomorrow, well, if I do this tonight, and I'm really hoping I'll do it tonight, we'll have, uh, um, we'll have Resident Evil Cold Veronica, yeah. You can't take the graphics seriously? Shut up, but in 1996, you know what games we had in 1996? You and I had none. <laughs> if we had this, we would love it. <laughs> Red Book. Well, that's, that's also the standard for uh, compact disc audio. So it's like nothing important, but then you open, oh, all pages are blank. What's it for? What a mystery. All right. When you, see, uh, when you see the remake graphics, only six years later, and it looks like it's from the future, even today, even on the GameCube. Now, I'm not even talking about the... Because they it was initially on the GameCube, that was 2002, and it was too good for its time. It's just... I've never seen anything like that. I played it for the first time in the, mm, 2010, and it was still from the future. Hello, Gamut. We were just talking about you. Welcome to the stream, Gammy. To the street. What? I almost said to the street. Welcome to the street, Gamut. Have you moved to my street? Uh, does this version have the translation error? The Chrome key. Yeah, there you go. So Chrono Trigger came out one year before this. I think, yeah, 1995 or 94 or 95. 95, I think. So one year before Resident Evil. Resident Evil was also initially developed for, uh, for the Super Nintendo, like Chrono Trigger. But they wanted to do something new. And this was these were early uh, 3D games. If you don't know what a polygon is, it's anything that like it's not a it's not a square or a rectangle, it's multiple, it's like a cube <laughs> is a polygon. And you gotta break these so many times to make something as complex as this. Now today this is laugh laughable. A kid can make this in Minecraft, it will look better. But <laughs> back then, man. <laughs> yeah, Lyubka was summoning you. Literally a minute ago. There's nothing major. Nothing minor. <laughs> she can't laugh without you. As soon as you leave the stream, she just goes... Until tomorrow. <laughs> I, I think my favorite uh, description of Resident Evil 1 graphics, if you remember Jiggy, uh, we were friends in, uh, when we lived in Belgrade. It was, I think, two years younger, but, um, so your age, Lubka, but uh, he, yeah, we always need Johnny Poole. <laughs> and uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't play the game, he was scared of it, understandably, back in the 90s. So he called me over one day to beat the game with him. And when we got to the to Yon, to the mutated snake that I fought yesterday, he just cracked into laughter. <laughs> he laughed so hard. <laughs> pistol, I'm gonna leave it for now. Can't believe I have no ammo for pistol. <clears throat> in the guardhouse in Resident Evil 1. Travesty. No, he's 1990. He's your age. Actually, around the same time. He's also in February. So, yeah. But uh, he laughed. <clears throat> I was like, I was building it up. <laughs> We're going to fight a mutated snake. It's very big. I mean, if this game is uh, unnerving for you. You know, just warning you and everything. And he was like, oh, okay, okay. And then the, the snake came out and all. It's like, he said, it looks like a sock puppet. Like, almost if someone put, the, put their arm in a sock and just went. <sighs> <laughs> That was what, 2000, 2001? 
Oh, bastards. Did I hit it? Oh, fuck this. Take your health. Damn, without bazooka, this is just insane. Stop it. Am, am I danger? I'm gonna die, am I? By spiders. Death by spiders. Oh yeah, I'm in danger. I'm just gonna collapse, okay? So, without bazooka, don't even try. Ah, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Fuck you! Yep, I'm dead now. Okay, don't go in there without herbs. Jesus Christ, these spiders are... tanky. So I spent what? Did I have a full shotgun? Did anybody... Did anybody count? <laughs> yeah, like dirty sock puppet. <laughs> Did anybody count? Oh my god, I don't know. I gotta I gotta be ready for this. How many shotgun shells does a spider take? Is there any better strategy for this gamut? Without the bazooka? Can you like can you stab him with a knife? Take their eyes out? <laughs> Gouge their eyes out and then come back. Man, I gotta do that whole room again. <clears throat> <laughs> Chris, that's right. The spiders, yeah. What do you mean? Sh shotgun shells? It would be uh, much better if I could hit both of them with the shotgun, because the spread in the in area one, the shotgun spread in area one is okay. It's pretty good. So if I can clip both of them, you know, that's you're right. Why would I even kill them? I don't know why I do that. It's still like. It's a, it's a remnant from childhood, <laughs> when I wanted to kill everything on the screen, so they wouldn't bother me, but... I don't even need the small key, I can pack that up, because we're gonna find one small key right there. And I know where the third one is. It's in the house where you start. Where you start? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's in the Spencer room. Okay, take two. Yeah, I'm I'm going to do that. I'm just going to try to run around them. They're, they're, they're not like liquors in the remake where you got to kill them if they... The two near the end, you know which hallway I mean. <laughs> where there's a lot of zombies and then when you power it up, when you return power to the room, you start going down the hallway. Or you don't even do that, maybe. You just start going down the hall. Two liquors come out. Seriously, dude? Do that! Okay? You, what about you, dude? Can I kill him? If I have 10 bullets? Yeah, I have. Okay, that'll be good. I'm just gonna offer my neck here. Oh, I don't even need to do that. He's already ready for a meal. Oh. Oh. Oh, these, like, Saturn zombies have the funniest voices. <laughs> oh. Oh. There you go. You done? Yeah, he's done. <laughs> That's even better than last time. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why they changed that. Like PlayStation ones already had good noises, and I can't. Again, it's been 17 years or so. I can't remember, but I think the PC version has. People play the PC version still on Twitch, so we can see that. But I'm 90% sure, 95 even, maybe 98, <laughs> that it's the. Did I grab it? No, I didn't. That. Uh, it's the same sounds. I don't know why they changed them here. And who the fuck thought that zombies sound like this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like they're... It sounds like they're cheering for something. <laughs> you know, when they're watching football, they go... Oh, and then they miss a goal. Like, oh. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Muddy Water reprisal. <laughs> Muddy Water is unplugged.
Man, this controller is really, really nice. I dare say it might feel better in the hands than the than the SNES controller. Might get shot for that. In the house, not even like by someone random. Just Sasha comes in here with a shotgun. Says, let's see what the spread is on this one. And it just pops. I miss that sound. I think after RE3. Yeah, after RE3 or after Code, Code Veronica maybe. I'm not sure. One of those, it just stopped. I think RE3 or Code Veronica were the last ones. One of those was the last one that had that head popping sound. It's very specific. <laughs> it was very lovely playing with the infinite magnum. I think RE3 just popping heads left and right. What do I have here? I'm gonna leave the pistol. Take the shotgun, leave the ray out. I gotta check the book and check the chrome key. I don't need to, I just want to. Key to enter the control room. Huh. Then it has to be, I think it was then uh, either on the PlayStation or the director's cut where that's mistranslated. They said it's got a marking of the moon or something like that. Had <laughs> that freeze when you're opening the box. That was also changed later in later uh, <laughs> sequels. <laughs> they don't just freeze now. Blank book and chrome key. Everything go in here. You only got six slots. You can't fuck around with these guys. It, this was one of those moments, Gamut. I don't know if you're still... Like, if you can hear me still. But this was one of those moments when you said... Uh, I don't bother trying to kill them. That's when my brain said... Wait, that's an option? <laughs> Let's try that. Let's see how do you react. At not being shot. Shot at by a shotgun. It's a very lovely door. Too bad there's only one in the game. Even if they poison me, it'd still be better than... Uh... Do I even need that? You know what? I'm a daredevil. They don't call me Chris Redfield for nothing. It's Redfield. It's red with the blood of my enemies. They include giant spiders. So this is a clock, right? Nine ball. Okay, so that's nine. We gotta take a look at this. We better take a look. Okay, this is gonna freeze the enemy. So if that's the clock... I forgot that code. I know we did it two months ago, but... So if that's a clock, then it's either three... Okay, ten, I didn't come, or... coming. I hope your back is as red as I remember it. Which is the pointer? Oh, I see the longer and the short. Man, why did I never notice that? So it's actually 8.45 or 7.45. Oh my god, I just saw that. It's broken. Wait, where's the other giant spider? Uh, do I want to know? No, I don't want to know! <laughs> Did it just give birth to babies? Did you see that? I know they give birth to babies. Uh... <laughs> I know they gi give birth to babies uh... after you kill them, but I, I don't remember them doing that. Well, they're alive, then again, they have to be alive, and I always kill them, so. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, the, the no combined. We don't need any more ink ribbons. Why am I even collecting these? It's just a waste of time. Eight ink ribbons. Like, three ink ribbons is enough for the whole game. Let alone eight. Do I want to bring health? You know what? No, I don't want to. Ah, look at all that health. Nobody's going to smoke those herbs. But, uh... Only one blue? Really? You would have thought I brought more. Which means I better bring some, uh... Green herbs later. A uh, blue herbs. While well, they're still here. You ready, Chris? Go, Chris. Go. You have to kill the zombies. Look at him hugging that shotgun. 
So is there a Hornet invasion here or is that the remake as well? I think that's the remake as well. We're gonna find out. Yeah, that's the remake. That's not here. Look at all the Zerbs. The zombies. Hmm. Well, I say there's way more green herbs with Chris and less reds. Uh, it feels like that at least. Or they're differently stacked. Who knows? Chris Redfield, the herb collector. Is it locked over there? Wait, it, also without... Uh, no, I gotta check. Without Barry, is there a cutscene here even? It's locked. The plate says 002. Yeah, I can see that. See, that door says... Matches what it says ab about its key. So, it was, what did I say? It was 845 or 745, something like that. We're gonna try both and see which one works. And avoid the hornets, of course. The number keys. Will you push the keys? Yes, if you let me. Hey. No, why would you do that? Can you push the keys faster? So, 8.45. Nope, then it has to be 7.45. No, wait. What the fuck am I saying? It was... It said... Did it say 3 or 5? I wasn't paying attention. Never mind, we'll find out. Then it has to be the other way around. Just flip the clock. If it's 8.45, then it's 2.15. It's actually past... Yeah, 2.15. Try that. 2, 1, 5. There you go. How would this puzzle work for... Uh, There it is, Hornet Nest. How would it work for younger children? You know, those who haven't seen, who have never seen a, a, a clock, an analog clock. Whoa, fuck you. Better not fuck with them. It stings. <laughs> welcome, welcome, David. Hope you had a lovely day, my man. We didn't get far. I got killed by a spider. Before uh, before Gamut here said, you don't have to kill the spiders. Like, oh, shit, you don't have to kill the spiders. <laughs> no, it was... So what happened was Wesky raided, and because Wesky usually plays Resident Evil games, <laughs> that's what he asked. <laughs> That's what he asked uh, uh, Wesky. <laughs> Which Resident Evil was it? Right off the bat. <laughs> we did that. Let's take a blue. Now I have some space. Obviously Chris can take... His superpower is taking more bites in the face. And you know, with less damage. But it's also... Hmm. If I get poisoned, I'll have to heal anyway. So... That's weird coloration for a triple herb. Yeah, it does. But uh, that week, during that week or so, it was always like Resident Evil 1, Chris, knife play, or Resident Evil 2, knife play, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, he did play uh, Lion King and stuff like that. Lion King and another... I remember another Disney... Hmm. I can't remember which Mega Drive game there was. I guess anything with blue goes up. No, I said blue up. Actually green, green, blue, blue. Then we have 002 key. <laughs> yeah, Sonic 3. Also saw him play Sonic 3. It's the, it's the Sonic I never played well i played it a bit but i never played played it <laughs> so it was really nice to see 
and then recently David came over and uh, we rummaged through his Mega Drive games and there's the Sonic 3 I can't wait to play that with all its Michael Jackson glory was it yeah 3 was Michael Jackson aiding with music and whatnot but you can hear you can hear a bit of Michael Jackson in uh, in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 as well or at least they loved him so much they uh they made it sound like it why is there why is there two leading zeros if there are whole three rooms in this dormitory was Spencer like you know what someday we might have thousands of them just you know hundreds just start with a uh, two leading zeros is enough yeah he did Michael Jackson aided for uh, supported music production oh shit there's no is this desk unlockable yes it is that's why I need that key okay I'll make a few more runs through this we got the map we got the plant 42 report yeah so we read this diff last time I'm gonna skip it basically when virus ex escaped researchers noticed this plant uh, mutating and like any good researchers instead of killing it they were like yeah let's study it the rest is history can you push this with all the biceps and everything oh no I should have pushed it yeah it'll stack itself properly next time it doesn't like being stacked like this man I love this music I'm so glad they didn't change the music for the remake um, uh, you know, the opposite of what they did for uh, RE2 and 3 remakes. I'm gonna leave this for now, because there's really no point. There's nothing in the bathtub either, so the point of this was to, yeah, to waste time. I will need clips later, but for now, I want to check what's downstairs. Hey, wait a minute! If I can open the, the chemical room, that means I can just... I can go make the poison right away, right? No, I think he needs Rebecca for that or something. He can't. If I if I remember correctly, he'll go there and be like, Oh, these are chemicals. I don't know what to do with chemicals. Oh, there it is. Because I didn't do it properly, see? Somebody's going around this house resetting puzzles. <laughs> You gotta stack, stack him like this, otherwise it doesn't work. <laughs> Literally says 2 plus 3 equals 5, and he's like, uh huh? <laughs> Did you ever watch uh, Puanchi Resident Evil parodies? Resident Puanchi and Resident Evil Code Puanchi. If you haven't gamut, I highly recommend it. That's where Wesky got it, got his nickname from. <laughs> I mean, from me, but that's why I call him Sexy Wesky. And they also portray Chris like that. <laughs> At one scene in, in the RE1 <laughs> parody, Nemesis appears, don't ask, and, uh, <laughs> and he goes like stars. And Chris goes, no, no, I need, I need, I need uh, directions to the mansion, sir, the mansion. And he's like, stars. No, no, mansion, stars, mansion, star. Ours. <laughs> I love that. Uh, or Wesker just loses patience, gives him a bazooka, says, There you go, go blow up something, preferably yourself. <laughs> yeah, every time, so every time Chris opens his mouth, thanks, love, thank you. Every time Chris opens his mouth, uh, Wesker face palms, and every time Wesker asks him, Hey man, do you need some aspirin for that headache of yours? <laughs> oh, I gotta watch those. It's been. A few months since I last did. It's no use. Chris doesn't know chemistry, even though he just needs to know how to do. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. If you like comedy and Resident Evil, you'll have fun. Well, look, more weed. When I'm the luckiest police officer in the world. You know what? I'll grab these. There are two angry 
Wait, yeah, I know what I forgot. I almost killed myself here, see? I'm missing something in my inventory, something crucial to proceed. Something that I need to unlock a door to save myself. Yeah, it's a key. It's the crew key. I forgot it completely. Wait, what's the point of that room for Chris then? Is it like for Rebecca to do something? Why did I leave the crew key? I keep leaving stuff because I think six inventory slots. You can't even mix good herbs in that and carry. For crying out loud, Yoko and Cindy have more. Well, you could argue that, like, well, yeah, our Outbreak characters have five, except Yoko, Cindy, and David, they have eight each. Only the, for uh, David and Cindy, those other four are, you know, they have their purpose. The... What do you even call them? Like, the toolbox items? <laughs> David has the best toolbox in the world. Just four, four, uh, duct tape, uh, 12 wrenches, which is a set, yeah. Uh, what else was there? A uh, pocket knife, which you need to cut the duct tape <laughs> and, and junk parts. And it makes sense. Anyone who has a toolbox has junk parts. Just, you, you need those. Not to mention his sister broke into Umbrella HQ Looking for Chris wearing a bright red vest and only handgun. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That and her her uh, argument with the with the first zombie in RE2. <laughs> I don't want to bother you. <laughs> Just <laughs> it looks very reasonable. Why not reason with it? Yeah, you do need junk. I have, I think six or seven cans and a few boxes of junk, par junk parts and all those all those crates you know about David the ones that are visible and every few days I need something from those I'll bring the desk key as well open sesame I did some testing, uh, David, and you know the the artifacts, the the noise on the screen, those lines that pop, 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 appear. They're actually from the from the laser assembly. I don't know if it's the laser motor or is it the or is it the disc motor or is it the laser driver, whatever it is. I think it's the disc motor or maybe just the electromagnetic waves pulsating from the laser itself. But it's from that. It's not the cable. Yeah, see, wherever it moves, it just did a jit. Whenever it flashes, I can hear the laser moving here. That's adorable. We didn't see this. Well, with like no, when you hook it up to the TV, there's less chance of noticing that stuff, especially on a CRT, especially if you use RF. We, most of us used RF. You know, the antenna input. Even in the early 2000s, I remember when I got the, I used RF on my Nintendos, Super Nintendo and NES, and then I got the N64, which had the comp composite cables, you know, yellow for video, red and white for audio, and I tried it on the SNES, even on SNES you can see the difference. Oh yeah, it is, like these old laser drivers, they just, they make everything like they just make these noises and uh well you know how it is right it's not even on a spiral driver right it's on it's with gears because they i don't think they did spiral drivers uh back in the early 90s all right are we ready are we ready <gasps> Cha! Oh shit, there they are. Oh, I was like, where's the cutscene? There it is. <laughs> Wait, there's no cutscene with Chris? Really? So you just go in there and... 
So you just go in there and the shark's like, hi. <laughs> Too bad, that was a pretty good cutscene. Oh, here's a difference for Saturn. I'm gonna talk about it in a second. That's only on the Saturn version. Move it. Gotta love that dither water. So we just did underbelly? Did we just do underbelly? Is that an aquarium? A ter terrarium? What is it? <gasps> There's the button. Yes. There was a sound from the room next door. So this part here, nothing special. On the, only Saturn has this, as far as I know, this shelf here is different. A couple other things outside as well. But on the PlayStation, there's a totally different shelf here. And on the PC version. We're gonna see outside, there's a... There's a marking right next to the door as well. That's weird, small changes. I wonder how it went in the studios. Like this arms that wasn't there on the on the original. It's a large water tank. Water tank. So it's one word. Water tank. Okay, please give me clips. Give me clips. Yeah, two clips. There you go. They're all wet and useless, but clips are not. Why is there a... Is that a radioactive... Sign? Why is there radioactive stuff here? That means Chris's nards would be just green. Maybe that, that explains why he has no kids, even by RE8. That and probably, you know, all the PTSD from fighting zombies most of his life. By now, by RE8, Chris has spent more time fighting monsters than not. That's just... Poor man. Just leave him to rest. You know, when uh, RE8 trailers came out? Now, again, cover your ears if some, some of you, like, if you don't want... Not even spoilers, but I guess you can classify as spoilers. But here we go. When, when they were announcing, like, trailers, those for... Trailers for RE8 and... Uh, Basically, when it says it's the end of his story, I was not not thinking. I was hoping they were talking about Chris Redfield, <laughs> because it's too much, man. Just he should go to he should have pension or something. But no, still gonna fight his. Uh, he's gonna fight his yeah <laughs> steroids by RE5. Yeah, you can see that, which I was never a fan of that. Oh, openly. <laughs> That Chris's arm covering most of my screen in Resident Evil 5, that was never fun. Even, I know they tried in the re, re, that's not a remaster, whatever it is, that it released for Xbox One and PS4, and I think PCs, there's an option now to push the camera away, I guess because people kept complaining that Chris's arm is covering the action. But that doesn't help, it just makes the game weirder. It looks like a plant root. Too bad, I don't know any chemistry. There's another one, huh? <gasps> There's a desk in the 003 room, that's right. Is there anything here? There's a bag here, nothing useful inside. Was this, like, what was the point of this? Is it, you could say it's a dining room in an underground lab? I doubt it. A chilling room? Yeah, let's see something. If I remember, it doesn't even make sense that the uh, root is there. What is it? B? So that's the door right behind there, right? It should be... Huh. It's kind of possible, but not too much. So, so the plan should be southeast of the ladder. But in reality, it's much closer. I guess the roots go zigzag under underground. Bye, sharks. Bye, sharks. Oh, we're already done with the, with this, with all the, like even with the death and me talking about everything, we're already done with this. I mean, not really, but almost. Hey, you know what I should do? I should go fight Plan 42 without saving. <laughs> I mean, it worked last time. Hello, Wumping Waluigi. How are you doing? Hope you spend holidays nicely. 
I haven't seen you since this before holidays. Wump wump. One, a two, a three, a four, a five, I guess, six, no? How many steps there are? You know, it does make inventory management a little easier, not having five different weapons. But that shotgun is really concerning uh, for those uh, tankier enemies, especially hunters. This is going to be... It's not going to be as easy. Oh, really? Okay, then your last message kind of makes sense. <laughs> Congrats. Congrats. Hope you had a lovely honeymoon. <laughs> I thought you were just trolling, honestly. You know, joking. <laughs> Do we even? It's useless. Chris can't. Chris can't handle chemicals. <laughs> Something is written on the wall. Water one, red two, purple three, green four. And then you have this other thing. Something is written on the wall. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 plus 4 equals 7. <laughs> it tells you everything, but then Chris is like, oh, chemistry. A faucet. One plus two equals three. Uh, that's the that's my limit. What <laughs> what goes after? I don't know. <laughs> that's why I carry a a, a, <laughs> a gun with three bullets. Can't count past that. All right. Really good. I rested a bit under the orders of my lovely wife. <laughs> so I didn't work last week. Uh, you know the main work, the work work. And it helped to sleep a little and rest and just not do shit all day, every day. But here we are. We're back as of yesterday. No, what's, what's today? Today is Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. So yeah, since yesterday. I thought it was Wednesday for some reason. A white book. The Jolt Report. Okay, we know this as well. Two pages then loads. Two pages then loads. That was it was like that on the PlayStation as well. It loads every second page. Can you push it? It's Chris. Let's see. Maybe it's like we don't need a book. No, we're not gonna push it. Can you move out of the way? Nah. I do have that little key which I can use here. No, it's just pink ribbon. I'm not gonna take it. Fuck that. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Lupka, you know what I mean. Well, I wasn't streaming either. Just sorted some videos for YouTube, stuff like that. So it was like very light week, really. Oh, sir. Dust collects inside. The bath towel is dirty. Nothing special. These Resident Evil characters are really unimpressed by toilets. Hey, look at that. There's more toilets in the dormitory than there is in the whole... ...mansion. That's just weird. <laughs> Wait, I missed something. Hold on. Chris probably can only count up to the amount of fingers he has. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta watch Punchy. It'll make you laugh. What they did with Chris, and it fits <laughs> really well. So Chris and Leon, actually, Claire sends an email to uh, to Chris, no, to Leon, to contact Chris. So Leon does find him, and is just annoyed at how <laughs> at this guy's ideas. They have to like share a motel room because they're traveling to rock piece of crap island as they call it <laughs> and i don't want to spoil it it's too good <laughs> my favorite part i think there was a cut scene and i think they removed it maybe because of a copyright who knows 
they're waiting for a bus, Chris and Leon. And Leon is already like, oh my god, this guy. <laughs> and Chris starts singing, <laughs> plays Rebecca Black um, Friday, and starts starts singing with the with the voice that the actor did. It's it's gorgeous. <laughs> You gotta sing with me. <laughs> what was it? You gotta sing with me, Leon. It's fucking Friday. <laughs> Friday, Friday. But he sounds like he's wailing as he's singing. <laughs> and then Leon says, No, Chris, it's fucking Thursday, man. Stop that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, since we're not doing the whole vigil thing. We're not doing vigil. We're not collecting bazooka shells. We're leaving the this and we're bringing the well that and i'm gonna bring one of of these actually i'm gonna, just gonna fill up on health and hope for the best take the book don't forget the book the blank book so i have one two three four ultimate heals five ultimate heals okay i'll be good one of these is with blue that one okay so i'll take this one three doubled greens should do because i'm gonna save now i'm not gonna be a jackass like last time <laughs> make everyone stressed i'm just gonna save right here there you go and the book will be ready Chris can't type either. <laughs> I imagine how, how that's going over there. You know, like this. <laughs> yeah, that's where that joke is, actually. The leading zeros. When So Chris, yeah, again. Chris comes to a keyboard. <laughs> or, I mean, typewriter. And uh, he's with Wesker, right? Who's annoyed all the time throughout the mansion and he starts typing on it. He's like, ooh, I gotta save my game. Hold on. Let's uh, let's add uh, leading zeros in case we're talking double digit numbers here. And Wesker's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He actually types, Chris, storeroom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. The mutagen. Ah, that's really good mutagen. And the stretcheroni. Thank you. You done with thinking? Don't hurt yourself, Chris. You know, I just had an idea <laughs> that wouldn't work. <laughs> My thought was, what if I took some other item, uh, I took some more health and picked up that ink ribbon I don't need and swapped it with health. But this is not that game. I'm telling you, Outbreak just broke me. When I play uh, anything before it, well, anything past it either, I'm always trying to ex swap items now. I did that in RE Zero recently. I was like, "Wait, you can, you can do, you can drop them from your inventory on the ground, but you can't like exchange them, like pick up one and you know, swap it for the other. Nothing like that. You can't hand an item to Billy. You gotta do it in inventory." It would be nice to unify those uh, mechanics. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have badass music and probably some badass slapping of that big, big, uh, overgrown ivy. We don't even know what kind of plant that is. Was. Because it doesn't look like any plant, not because they told us. So Rebecca should come save me now because we said yes. What? Wait, that's supposed to happen? Yeah, that's supposed to happen. Well, you won't pass. Rebecca, no, it's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You can walk. Chris! What? Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion and kill the roof. Becca, please. 
Did you just throw a notebook at her? Chris, don't die. Oh sure, for you, I'll hang on. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, she just weakens. I remember that, yeah. I was really disappointed after playing Jill. So with Jill, even if you don't do anything with the root, Barry comes in and saves you. He actually doesn't come in to save you when you when you poison the root. But with Chris, like if you're fucked, you're fucked. So I'm Rebecca again. That's pretty cool for a 1996 game. Nah. I just said he's in Resident Evil 8. How is he gonna die? So where is this? Yeah, I just gotta go. Do I have to make the thing myself? He just threw a notebook at me. A notebook. He'll be fine. Is there a time limit? I wonder, because I remember one time it happened at least on either this one or the remake with Jill and... Uh, <laughs> and Richard! Uh, I do need the container. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, if you take too long... <laughs> oh my god, the dinner bottle. If you take too long... Uh, he, he dies. He just never comes back. You don't even get to give him the serum, I think. But I can't remember if that was this version or the, or the remake. Three bottles. Is three bottles enough? Do we need four? You know what? It's her inventory. I don't care. She's gonna have to take care of that mess. Not me. Okay, so the notebook. No, don't fill. Take the, take the, take the bottle. And then check the file. We just gotta do 2 plus 3 equals 5, right? Yeah, we're awfully short on files somehow, but fuck it. Rejolt, Tyrant Virus. Yeah, they actually call it Tyrant Virus. Huh. So, literally this. 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 13. We gotta get number 16. Okay, just follow the math. Just follow the math. You'll be okay, Chris. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do talk constantly. That's that's why it's hard if something passes in chat. I have no idea what happened. When I look at a... I'm trying to, to say people's names, though. I've seen some smart people do that, and it helps. Because if I just respond to a message, it could be to anyone. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four. Water, we'll need water and UMB2, right? One plus two equals three. Okay, water is one. One plus two equals three. So, water, one. There you go. It looks like an empty bottle, but it should. It's water. Two. This one should be red. Oh, there you go. Transparent. <laughs> I love this. Uh, then we combine water and red, and we get three. NP003. Okay. After that, we go three and four, right? Three and four, seven. Then two and four, six. So three and four, seven. Two and four, six. Three and so that's four. With three, it makes seven. Three and four, right. We get seven. Then two and four makes six. <laughs> two and four, six. So another two. It would be nice to just say you got you got it. No need to load the inventory and load back. So two and four. Two and four makes six. So we get yellow six. <laughs> yellow number six. You know when people talk about food coloring, they say yellow number six. I thought for years they were talking about this. Or that this is something to do with it. So six and seven should make thirteen now, I think. Let's not poison us ourselves. Six and seven, thirteen, and then thirteen and three. 16, all right? We can combine those two. 
6 and 7, 13, and then 13 and 3 will be 16, and we got it. Okay, one, two, one, two, and then three, and thirteen, and we got it. V jolt. Charge! I love this with Rebecca's voice. I know I said it yesterday, but she does sound, sound the part. Do you ever play as Barry in Jill's scenario? You don't. Because it would be fun to use as Magnum. They don't give us that. They give us Rebecca and Beretta. Yeah. Beretta. Yeah, it's sad. You can do that with Jill and Rebecca, but not with Chris. It would make more sense that he does it. <laughs> Well, you don't blow yourself up, but you do get poisoned or something, or damaged. I've seen that once. I made a mistake, and it was just like, the, the whole room got, got gassy, and Jill started coughing and had to get out. Why am I turning? Like, I expect her to come down, you know, outbreak, again, outbreak. <laughs> to go from the ladder and be like, turn with the backs on unless you do you know the whole iframes thing hello zombie let's let the let's let the the thing play how are you doing zamboni thank you for the resub my man you 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 are here <laughs> your presence has been noted you're working, Zamboni? Or resting? We jumped. Back to you, Chrissy. Wait, can I save as Rebecca? Ah, oh, man, I should have tried that. Not poisonous at all. He's not above you. I'll check the map. He's more to the east nice well i hope you're enjoying your evening come on is it time yeah she weakens it and then i gotta shoot it to death am i damaged from this cutscene though i don't think i am ah oh, it's like fuck you fuck you crazy you you damage me roots uh, that's it. Boss done. Ah, you haven't seen my final form. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, it's battle time. Check health. He can definitely take more... Uh, more beating. Wow. That's it. Like, after everything we did with Jill, this is what happens with Chris. That's just... It's almost ridiculous. Hell, <laughs> look at all the health I brought for nothing. <laughs> That's better. Better to bring it for nothing than... I will need to save again now. Because You know what? No. Or yes. Who knows? Look at my pretty face. I'm... I'm better when I'm running with the shotgun. Can you run still? Yeah, he'll hit the wall at some point. There you go. It's pretty good animation for 96. Pretty good. It's fucking excellent. Yes. Yes, yes. As much as I <laughs> dread every time facing them without auto aim, Hunter, Hunter Alpha. <gasps> Yeah, so much for him. 
We got to the root of the problem. <laughs> again. She's like, oh, fuck. just <laughs> really, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh my. Well, Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication Did from you kill Richard, the courtyard Rebecca? a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. Maybe your radio is broken. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. Chris, you are fucking epitome of cringe. Uh, the calm radio. He's flying in the sky. Did you hear that, guys? He's flying in the sky. Chris and Rebecca team up of century, millennium, Jesus. <laughs> he's flying in the sky. So he's not flying on the ground or underwater. He's flying in the sky. <laughs> Oh. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. That was awkward. Just, just walking away. He's just looking at her. Uh. <laughs> He's flying in the sky. I can't. <laughs> Where else could he fly? <laughs> oh boy. Chris and Rebecca win. This is like the best decision I ever made on this channel was coming back to do the Chris playthrough. I guarantee it's not this funny in the remake. Wesker! Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her. While a we strange monster. So one around. monster. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We are still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out Close. one more time. He says, like, There Close. must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. It's not as good as Wesker and uh, J Jill and Wesker meeting. Damn, those hornets explode like fucking bombs. <laughs> No police police officer in the history of forever handled a shotgun like that. Talking to your superior, just waving it around, tapping yourself on the shoulder. <laughs> but he is hugging it. It's his best friend. <laughs> Where on earth have you been? <laughs> uh... Oh, gang, you're such a you're such a lovely. <laughs> Good start of the year with these games. Oh, really? Are they Canadian? Huh. I mean, I totally, I can totally see that, but... Uh, wait, where is the... I notice it with... Well, obviously, Paul had ads. He's, he was Canadian. He was. He died, yeah. He, uh, he was Canadian. Uh, Alison Court is Canadian. So I don't know for RE1. I know RE2 and onwards. And you can hear it in a lot of Outbreak characters. When Dorian tells you to, you have to go oot and continue on foot. I think that that's the best rhyme in both Outbreak games. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. I didn't notice that. The most Canadian people I listened to was, well, in cartoons and games, yeah. 
Wait, do I need to bring something? Just, just, yeah, my health and the, is, does Chris's superpower include uh, getting his head decapitated harder than uh, than Jill's? It's a pretty cool radio. Too bad it doesn't work. Yeah, like something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said Dorian. Dorian in the, in the outbreak scenario, he, you can really, you can really uh, hear that. Obviously, that character is Canadian. Oh, the dogs are gone because you got to talk on the radio. This is Chris. Brad, can you hear me? Damn. <laughs> ah, smash it. That'll make it work better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the way he says the way he says that, yeah, you can hear. I can't wait. So Lubka has never seen Code Veronica. We didn't live in the same house by the time I got to that. I can't wait for her to hear uh <laughs> To hear the Ashford. Well, it's not Alfred, it's one of the they're all double A's. Alfred Ashford was his dad, so he's like whatever his name is. Can't wait for her to hear that. Because that's you gotta hear that. That's everyone should hear that at least once in their lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love doing Is it uh, Alfred? Yeah it is. He just he just wins the way he says Oh Claire! <laughs> oh my! First time I played it, I couldn't believe this is like all of this somehow made sense. But the Ashford guy—oh, is it Alfred? I think it's Alfred or Alexander. No, his father is Alexander. He's Ashford. That's right. he's uh, Alfred. <laughs> that laughter and yeah, that's that should be tomorrow. Code Veronica is next because it goes right after Resident Evil Three. <laughs> We're playing these in the release order, uh, in case that's unclear for now. I like what the doc did, so Dr. Best, we're all doing Resident Evil marathons here and there, but man, what he did is pretty cool. Uh, he took all the games, all the games and Outbreak scenarios and uh, sorted them in, in the chronological order as the, as the events unfolded. So it goes Resident Evil 0 and 1, those Umbrella Chronicles, uh, chapters, what, what not? Mm, what else was there? Yeah, there's the Arclay Mountains. Then there's Welcome to Raccoon City. Then there's, I forgot what's the last one. Last Escape. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so you can uh, even the Outbreak scenarios. He played them like um, Outbreak and Hellfire, and like all those that happened on the first day, and then like in the our, the first half of Resident Evil Three, then. Resident Evil 2, then the second half of Resident Evil 3, because that's the order the 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 events unfolded. I like like that a lot. Check out Doctor Best if you uh, if you don't know about him. He does these uh, what do you call that? Like no damage, no save run stuff like that. So yeah. Nah, I can't. I'm not. I'm not gonna change games in the middle of stream. That's. Too much work with my setup, so because I use actual uh, use actual consoles and all that, it would be it wouldn't be efficient really. Or one stream would be Hellfire and Outbreak, like an hour. Next stream would be whole Resident Evil One, not literally, but you know what I mean. It just wouldn't work with the setup. But I'm glad he did it. I do like out of chronological order events as well. Oh, should I kill that guy? Yes, he's in the way. And I gotta, I gotta test the waters with these hunters. Turn towards him. How the fuck did that miss? How, why did that not shoot? Oh, wow. Okay, I gotta I gotta learn that timing better. They have iframes when they're getting up. That's not good news. You no know iframes when you shoot a bazooka, it just destroys them. Oh, 
What do you mean? Like, as a... In real life or as Alexia? We know Alexia is a little nuts. Here we go. I love this room. I know I said it last time and the time before that. But man, I love this room. Look at this. Such a chill room. Yeah, this desk. Magnum rounds. That's what I need. 49. That's seven times. That's seven... There's nothing in the drawer, that's in the remake. I can only see moonlight and dense forest. Yeah, yeah, he's doing it chronologically. So literally plays Resident Evil 1 in the same stream, Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, which details like these events as well. Then, uh, I don't know what goes then, but then right now at the top of my head, but then like Resident Evil Outbreak, Outbreak scenario, which is literally the start when when the when the shit hit when shit hit the fan and hellfire scenario and then resident evil 3 <laughs> because outbreak scenarios take uh, occur in a span of how long did it last a week from september 23rd to to october 1st so yeah a medal from the first doom book yeah and swapping games i can i can get like R, even re2 and re3 which use the same engine they're very similar they're different enough to play RE3 until the part where Jill falls asleep because that goes first. Then she slept for a few days, I think a, two days or something like that. And then uh, Leon and Claire arrive in the city. Then he plays Resident Evil 2, finishes that, then goes back to RE3 the second half after he, Carlos goes to get the cure for Jill. That's a really good idea. All right, where do we go now? We gotta. What am I even doing now? I need to use this helmet key. Not mansion key, helmet key, I think. Yep. I need to use that. Yeah, okay. Okay, gotta get the Magnum. Gotta fight Yon again with the shotgun. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. It's cool. So there's a thing that bothered me as a kid, bothered me just like I was wondering. Hold on, I gotta be careful here. Fuck, they're so fast. Wow. Four shotgun shells. Look at that gaping mouth. So, so if I want to do live reloads, this is going to be hard. But even after three or four scratches, he's only yellow fine. So it's going to be harder to decapitate him. Still, scary shit. Oh, look at that. Is it from Wesky? I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Wesker! That's how he signs <laughs> all the documents. Nice, Wesky. Thank you. You did one good thing in the series. Right, back to seven, seven and a half clips. Okay. And we got actual clips, that's right. With uh, Chris, it doesn't even pay off carrying them. Is that the... Yeah, it's the Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. A medal from the first Doom book. It is time, so... Uh, the clip shotgun shells magnum rounds this goes in the with the key items what else is left we don't need the lighter do we need the lighter again in re1 huh no that's that's in the remake hold on i gotta i gotta boost the heating it's either too cold or too hot okay here we go but this is where I'll save again. Because Yon with the shotgun. Yeah, I was saying, so thing that bothered me, man, good thing I remembered. <laughs> kind of bothered me as uh, when I was younger. Is why does Yon po poison you the first time, but then the second time you pedal it doesn't poison you? And it's actually pretty genius because your character was administered a serum the first time around. So... 
you know, you would be immune, well, immune, yeah, you would be immune to the poison. You still shouldn't gulp uh, a whole bottle of it, but you shouldn't get poisoned like that. And uh, the the thing that it doesn't work, <laughs> though, it, it's not that it doesn't work. A little mist there, so if you manage, and it's easier with drill, especially easier with uh, in director's cut with auto aim, especially if you're playing the training mode, you can actually kill yawn first time without even a scratch and it still doesn't poison you the second time that's you know it's asking too much of these develop fuck save save don't fuck around save i want to go back all the way it's not even that i have to play it again i love playing it it's <laughs> it's all the time it takes to load every door There you go, there you go. I will, I will. Hmm, seven. I said eight will be more than enough for this game. It should be, but I am saving way more often. Way more often. This is what, fourth? Yep, way more often. <laughs> There you go, Lipka. Game has been saved. And after every stream on Saturn, because Saturn has battery backed up, battery backed memory or SRAM, static RAM. Um, some people <laughs> read that as save RAM, but it's actually static RAM. Unlike dynamic RAM that always refreshes, it has to. You have to, you know, literally zap it with power, with electricity to keep the data. SRAM doesn't need that. It just needs DC direct current. But once that battery runs out, your save is gone. And we haven't seen the whole lifetime of a battery uh, in a Saturn. So every time I finish a stream on a Saturn, I back up. I back, back everything up on the... Shit, I would like to avoid this guy. On the internal memory. Can I not trigger him or something? Fuck, I gotta see, man. Is this enough to see? It should be. No! Wow, that was lucky. Holy shit, that was lucky. I forgot to count the bullets. He wouldn't take my head off on yellow fire, but it would hurt a lot, and he missed. Two blind bastards in a narrow hallway. <laughs> and he missed. Nice. You can see the redeems, but if you... Oh, did I bring the key? I saved, right? Yeah, go in there. Fuck that snake up. So six shells left. Let's count. I gotta clip that. <laughs> uh, sometimes when, when I'm like when I'm looking at my stuff, when I'm editing it, I can see the faces I make. When I'm playing something, I get very serious. People will think I'm some kind of a bully or something. <laughs> There's the gallery. I love this one more than the one in the remake. The one in the remake makes no fucking sense, even for a Spencer Trap house. A hole opens in the fireplace. I think I did this last time, but why not? But if you look at the map, that hole leads directly to the attic where we fought Yon for the first time. It's literally this fireplace goes into the attic, the lower right room, just right and below of the red room. That's pretty cool. It's not even a real fireplace then, is it? Nothing here. So you just come here and sit and chat in, in an empty room. There's not, not even... Like you would expect a sofa or something. These rich people don't know how to party. Oh no, it's the sock puppet. <laughs> I'm just gonna go into the corner again and keep shooting at it. Fuck you. What was that? How many? Ooh, wow, jeez, it really hurts. I did count. So six? Let's try. Oh, 
Oh wow, it's really hard to hit it. Up, down. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's why bazooka. That's okay. I think I missed only twice. I'm okay with that. I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> now it's just bacon strips. Snake bacon strips. Now it's just a puddle. Uh, why did it have to do that? I guess to just make it easier to render the room later? Who knows? It just turned liquefied. <laughs> liquid snake. Oh, that's liquid snake. There you go. Solid snake's twin brother. There he is. <laughs> or maybe it, maybe this snake is actually both of them. First it was solid snake, but then you defeated it. It became liquid snake. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm having fun here. I am. <laughs> Can that hunter hear me? Do I even want to find out? That guy. He's looking this way, is he? Yeah, he can hear though, that's better. Hold the fun, Morty. It kind of helps in the first game that you don't limp when you get hurt. I wonder when they were making the... the RPD for Resident Evil 2. The, the version that we know, the, the museum one. That room where Nemesis jumps in and RE3 near the dark room, which would be this. Did they literally just copy the collision map from that, from this, from Spencer Mansion to there? Because it kind of looks like the same stairwell and everything. Now I'm only red caution. Okay, I'll get one of those double, double greens. Green, green, blue, blue. Mixed. There you go. Because they can decapitate at this, so let's plug it. Whoop. Fine and dandy. 37 shells. I will bring now... Can I come back? I can't come back as Chris. Shit. You know what? Let's go... Let's wreak some havoc. That's what I'm gonna do. Beretta clip. You're gonna be zombies downstairs, so I'm gonna use the Beretta on them. What else am I missing? Magnum rounds, square clank, square clank, <laughs> square crank, eagle metal. I'm just gonna go. Hope for the best. Yeah, this, I meant this there, well, damn, it's gone, but yeah, you know what I mean. If you ever played the Resident Evil, you know exactly what I mean. I wonder what would a pistol do to to hunters. Is there? If I go in there, is there going to be a zombie or a hunter? Do I want to find out? Nah, some other time. Of course, I want to find out. It's me for crying out loud. <laughs> Let's see what's behind the scary door number one. Oh, nothing. You would expect a hunter. Oh, that's in the remake, there are claw marks. That guy that was hanging around here in front of <laughs> Martin Crackhorn's door. Maybe there was Martin Crackhorn. Huh. Because apparently zombies can use doors if they really want to. I will have seen how they use them in Outbreak. I think that makes more sense, even though it doesn't make sense that you break a lock and the door just closes after that. <laughs> but yeah, zombies just banging on the doors until they're open, that makes more sense than them using doorknobs.
It's too dark to see. Will you jump down? Uh, wait, actually, let me see what I have in my inventory, then I'll tell you. Yeah, I got everything I need. Let's go. Hmm, maybe should have left the key. But I'm too lazy to go back down there. We're gonna grow old. Till I go down there and get back up. It was very precise of the of Yon to, you know, to break exactly that part. Here we go. Into the scary ladder. That I always have a my heart stops every time that happens. When it freezes, you can hear the laser going zik zik. Oh shit. Reload. Now he's dead. It looks like they're doing exercises and not being zombies. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, if, if nothing else, like not even the battle game, Saturn gave us these these groans. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know those toys um, that have like toys or <laughs> butt scratchers that have those like when you flip and it goes whoop whoop. They're usually like a little squeaky thing into into a <laughs> in, a little squeaky thing in a, inside of a cylinder and when you flip it it makes noises. That's what these guys will sound like. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Hello, Mayo. Mayo Hazard. No clothes. <laughs> no, we have we have actual scary music here. <laughs> hey, if the graphics can't be scary, the music has to. Did I reload? Who knows? No, I didn't. Freeze! They have a gun. This is just an herb. Do I want to? I'm gonna leave those two to eat. I never did that. There you go. You guys can enjoy your meal forever and ever and ever. For the next... How, however long it takes to for me to finish the game. Let's say two hours, because it's me. Two hours. I'm, I think that's, that's reasonable. We. You're alive, sir. I can tell. You know, this is not my first rodeo. I've been bitten in the foot before, so I gotta put you down, literally. Oh, he's not even crawling. That was the friendliest... Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, my foot! What was, what was I just saying? You said you were not gonna do that. Oh, man. I could pay dearly for that. I just wasted ammo. <laughs> Water is not supplied. Ah! Good thing I found another desk key. Ah, for the lab. That's right. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. I just... <laughs> I know what they're supposed to sound like. But then I hear these guys. It sounds like a joke. Like someone was replacing the uh, the sound effects. There's nothing here, huh? Okay. An oven. It's badly rusted. Why did he... <laughs> oh, eight. Yeah, I can do it. You put me into green. Oh, you put me into yellow. Yellow fine. Oh, I should have just let him let him take my foot. <laughs> that hand. That, that that There's something deeply wrong with that hand. It looks like something I drew. Something I drew. I'm not. I'm not good at drawing. So <laughs> that's what the hand I draw would look like. Let's stare at each other for a while. Hey, you're the very first zombie that killed Kenneth. Killed by this creature, huh? 
It's so hard to aim when the... When it's... Will you take my foot too, sir? <laughs> it sounds like he stubbed his toe. It sounds almost like William. In RE2. <laughs> Why did you change this? They were scary enough in the original game. Oh my, I'm gonna go kill those guys for some help. Zero, zero, yeah, I have 30 bullets, enough for these zombies. That's why we saved the Beretta for Chris. <laughs> I can't, it's just, it's a specific voice. I wonder who voice acted these guys. You gotta forgive them, They're, like, they haven't seen a zombie. <laughs> Resident Evil was... This was the first... <laughs> they had no template to work off of. Can I shoot two of them at once? Let's try. Oh. It is a shotgun that I have. There we go. Now aim at them. At both of them somehow. Oh, that still worked. Yeah, when he aims, he moves. That's why that guy didn't miss it. For crying out loud, man. Look, he's still alive? Damn, he shouldn't have let him eat. He replenished his HP. <laughs> Look, you're still alive. Are you fucking kidding me, man? What the fuck are you? Oh, God. <laughs> I, I angered him. Are you... A, is he alive? He's not alive. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can't carry anymore, right? Oh, fuck you. Too bad. I'll have to come back for these. No berry with the rope. Let's get serious, okay? Hunters are on the other side. We can't... This is a serious game. Please. <laughs> Gotta love it how it fits seven shells, but he just puts three in. I think in... RE2 and 3, they just put two shells inside. <laughs> Do I want to go up first? I, you know what? I'm going to go up and spend all the Beretta and come back for those herbs. That's the way you do it. As Chris, I don't think you can find the password for the shortcut door. So, I'll have to go. I'll have to use this route several times. Jill only, yeah. It's the the only password in RE1 where you don't actually type it. Your character has got to know it. It's kind of like v, with V-Jolt. I wish they used more of those in later games. It's good that you know it, but your character doesn't, so you can't solve this until you find the clues. Oh shit, that's not good. Sandwich between two zombies with one bullet. You can't have that. I'm gonna decapitate the other guy. Let's go. Let's do this strategically and see if it works. Can you even strategize with zombies? Would be funny if the other guy was dead. <laughs> it, they do sound they do sound like recordings of cows. <laughs> Is the other guy alive? Not? Are you bleeding, sir? It's hard to tell. The floor is red. Oh, he's not bleeding. Okay. There we go. There's one. Two more in the basement. Is there a guy here? No! I knew it. I fucking knew it. Somehow. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Wait. How can I open the door? What the fuck? <gasps> if I can't go back, I fucked myself over hard. No, no. It's the other room. Okay, okay. Ten bullets. You know what? Keep using them. 
There goes his hand. Okay, there's many herbs here. They're too slow for me. So that hallway should take should lead outside where I can go. Yeah, that's right. There's an additional hall. I always forget about this one. So, so that one goes where? That's the stair. Yeah, that would take me to the place I was talking about. Which would be lovely if it worked. Oh, you can just avoid it. Oh, never mind. I hope that would work. Five bullets. Try it. We got nothing to lose except more ammo. One, two, three, four. There you go. It worked. Can you bite my foot from behind? Uh, hell, you can. Oh, there you go. That worked. Are you, sir? Are you, uh... Are you a zombie? Let's leave him. Whatever he is, he doesn't have to tell us. He might be dead. He might be a zombie. It looks like there was going to be another door there, but it never was. Since I'm not coming back here, I'm going to take these. Do you... I kind of remember finding the password somewhere, but maybe that's in the... No, no, there's no password in the remake. Like a paper with password. That's only when Barry gives it to Jill, right? Or can you find it in a notebook or something, huh? This one, because we're going to go fight some hunters. Oh yeah, I forgot my mutagen. Let's take what I can from there. Yeah. Oh, let's find out. No, I mean, not through the game, but I'm going to check. I have a memory of finding it somewhere in a notebook or somewhere, but, you know, memories a fickle thing, so I could have made it up. As in, like, you know, false memory. Nice, 14 more. Thank you. We're going to be good. So if it's four shells per hunter, and there are two... How does Wesky do it with the knife only? I really want to see that. Like, how do you do it? How do you only use the knife? Desk key, I can use it. I know where I can use this desk key. I just remember there's a desk in the library more herbs here man look at this house is brimming with herbs no helmet key is not used i shouldn't have brought helmet key i think where there's one one more door to use it on the first floor i think yeah that's it Gotta love how they give you the setup time. There you go, that desk. Desk. Nice. But I'm not gonna take it yet. Call me crazy. Look, I'm pretty sure there's a zombie there. Shit, he's alive. Hmm, should have gone closer. There's no need to aim up in RE1, but I just do it for uh, aesthetical reasons. Scrapbook, okay. That's just newspapers. Why were they collecting that? <laughs> were they like, oh, look, look, Papa, I did this. They're showing it to Spencer. See, you could have you could have learned something, Chris. You could have learned something. You could have been someone. You didn't want to learn chemistry though.
that sync ribbon, right? Yep, fuck that. I remember a clip or shells. Yeah, there's a clip. <laughs> I can look over the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port. Oh, that's the other side of the mansion. That's right. If I could contact the other members from there. What members? There's only Brad left. Hello, Johnny Poo. <laughs> Hello, Senpai John, my friend. How are you doing? Happy holidays, man. I haven't seen you since December. <laughs> No other rooms left here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is one more room. The the mail disc room. Wait, I gotta... Do I need to turn the light on? I'll just do it. Every time I'm doing this, I'm expecting the controller to vibrate, but I think like, you know, Saturn doesn't have force feedback. so I wouldn't come back. It's easier to go there for the... for... Uh, for... Magnum rounds. Is there a file here? You know what? Who cares? Just go. You're... You're Chris. You don't need to read shit. Alrighty, John. We're happy to see you. And bon appétit. I gotta go all the way down there. I do have herbs, so <laughs> put that cookie down now. It really works well with with Chris. I mean, it really works well with Chris. I have to, I have to get into it. Come on, Chris, get down the elevator. Shoot the zombie. It's a silent elevator. You can't hear it work. It's not even an elevator. It's a portal. <laughs> to another dimension. <laughs> Come out, stupid gate, I will kick you. Rusty gate. I'm not rusty, you're rusty. Oh boy, we're gonna have the hunters. Ah, hunter. Imagine, imagine Arnold squaring off against the hunter. Come out, hunter. I'll rip your claw out. Come out, kill me. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> what did they call it? I am the Residentator. <laughs> Residentator. The elevator doesn't seem to stop on this floor. Stupid. Who made the elevator? Why is there a fucking... Why is there a hand? A pointer for just two floors? <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> Do it now! Okay. Here we go. This is gonna be a heavy part. Three. Charge! <laughs> Come on, door, you have to open faster. Stupid knob, I will break you. I'm strong. I can break the knob. Does it pay off to sh run here? Run! Ah. Oh, it pays off. No, why not open the door? Stupid door, open up. 
I will shoot you, Dwar. Remember this one, Gammy? <laughs> Nothing can scare me. I'm very brave. I'm on Oh my fuck, mom! Oh shit, not good. That's that's me dying. Oh wait, just fine and dandy, I guess. No, I will wait a little longer. There go. We have zero shells now. Just walk backwards slowly. Don't let the hunter see you. Oh, that's just bullshit. The stupid hunter. You, you, you're cheating there, hunter. I know. I've done this before. Come on, hunter. Work with me. Oh shit, I'm so dead. Come on, stupid hunters. I'm gonna die, look at this. Come on! This is where I die. Let me see who there is. <laughs> Hello, Wesky. Hello, welcome, Raiders. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Thank you for the raid, Wesky. The forest. Thanks for that shout out. Damn it. The Forest, my nephew has been raving on about that game for a, a year, even longer than a year, so I'm really curious to see what he's talking about. How is The Forest? How are you doing, Wesley? How's everyone doing? Hello, Simon. Hello. Uh, what was it? That and that. Okay, here we go. Way longer than that. Yeah, he's been talking about Forest for a few years. It was fun. Okay, good. It's a it's a game with where you start with an axe or something. The plane crashes in the forest, something like that. I saw it years ago. Man, you're right, Sasha. He, he's been talking about it since 2018 at least. Sheesh. I'm dying here, rescue. As you can see, these these hunters just cheat. It's what they do. They cheat. Whoa! I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I'll repeat everything from there. I don't care. Hunter has to die. Are they coming this way? I'm gonna die. Look at this. Look at this. My head's rolling off. <gasps> die. Oh wow, that he missed. Fuck, I win. Bye. Maybe I should take a lesson from this. But I'm not gonna. Can I can I trick him? <laughs> I spent so many shells. Can I trick him? This is personal now. There you go, fucker. I forgive you all those shotgun shells. Whew. Where's the other one now? Look at that. <laughs> this is gonna be the, the most fun death ever. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is hard with Chris. So, Wesky, this is my third time in life playing Chris. Chris, I think I told you. <laughs> and man, this is... No bazooka. Should I poke my... You know what? Fuck it. I lost too much already. Oh, wait. They killed that guy. Wow, I won. Look at me, mom, I won. Now I just need to. <laughs> What's the point? I'm gonna die as soon as I open the door. <laughs> oh, those guys will not forgive me. There's two of them, I think, here. <laughs> Goodbye, head. At least we'll see a counter decapitation. <laughs> Charge! Oh my god, I'm alive. Oh god, I'm still alive. I can't believe I'm fucking alive. <laughs> I thought for sure, like, as soon as I come in, I'll just see my head rolling on the floor. <laughs> wow, Chris, you can really take more bites in the face than Joe. <laughs> you have proven your superpower. I release you. Well, not yet. You still got a job to do. Man, nah, not too many. Fuck it. Uh, this is good. I'm not going back. <laughs> Red green, there you go. Full health. You deserved it. You got slashed and shot at and decapitated. Two doors, that's right. Two more doors for the helmet key. <laughs> There's more herbs back there. We gotta go anyway, so. Now having the <clears throat> the magnum would help a lot with these guys. How many do I have? One, one, two, three, four. 
and there's more herbs there. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'm not even gonna <clears throat> I'm not even gonna fight these hunters. I'm just gonna go up. How many slots do I need? You know what I do need? I need to leave the Beretta. It's pointless to have it now. At least for now. That's another that's another inventory slot there. <laughs> I wonder on the <clears throat> what's the best way for me now to get to um, the dining room. Whoa, I forgot I have to run. Now there's gonna be at least one upstairs. But let's be smart and not fight it. Because <laughs> there's no need. Instead, I'll just um, try to run to the door and run back. Unless there's one just watching me in the eye. <laughs> Frame perfect. That's the last use for it. That's right. Oh, it worked. I can't believe it worked. Goodbye, Hunter. Do I need a lighter here? No, no, I don't. So you need lighter for just two things in this game, I think. And it doesn't get discarded for some reason. There's a letter for sexy Wesky here. Here you go, Wesky. There's a letter for you. <laughs> orders. I'm sorry, there's orders. Top secret, July 22nd, 1998. 2.13 a.m. I guess we don't, don't sleep. <laughs> the head of the security department. X day is approaching. Complete the following orders within the week. Oh, wait, is that white umbrella? Yeah, that's head of security. That, that was Wesky. Now we call him Wesky, man. <laughs> Times have changed. Imagine that. Imagine if they changed all uh, his name and the entire game to Wesky. And you just hear, see Barry. You know when Barry and Jill are looking for him? When Barry goes out in the hallway, the main hall, and goes, Wesky! It would be a totally different picture. Okay. Uh, we can set this up and then turn the light off. And I fall off this ladder and die. <laughs> there you go. The invisible ladder. Will you try and take out the eyeball? You know that sentence in outside context, uh, outside any context, it would just be weird. <laughs> it only works in Resident Evil, really. Will you try and take out the eyeball? <laughs> so let's be ready. That guy is waiting outside door. They can't. They can only open doors when they feel like it, so... Oh my god, I'm gonna do it! I did it! I, I, I'm not believing this. Yes, I know people do it, but... It's literally the opposite of what I normally do. <laughs> you got the gem? Can they see me? I don't think they can see me. Hmm. Well, fuck, keep that. I'm gonna go kill those two hunters with the magnum that I'm just about to get, and then gonna go upstairs and get more shit. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Fuck this guy. Yeah, it's just one scratch you get. I gotta figure out how to get through those eye, eye frames. You, you gotta time it perfectly. So once they're shot with the shotgun, they get stunned. When they get up, until they jump, they finish their jump animation. I guess like I did it <clears throat> in front of the, not the dark room, the Eastern storeroom. That was really good time, but I, <laughs> it was almost by accident. Red Jewel, here we go. Yeah, this whole, this thing is, that's what it is in the, no, is that a magnum? Please be called Python. Oh, thank God. Um, in, in Decisions, Decisions, in Outbreak, when you put the 
two gems. It's red and blue, right? It's also red and blue. Decisions is really RE1 homage. Hmm. It is time. It looks like the real Colt Python. Rain started again. Jeez. <clears throat> it's been raining heavily the last few days. Alright, it's Magnum time. I got a pistol that is stronger than the shotgun. Let's see what it can do. I'm gonna try to pass through him, if that's even a thing, and then try to kill him from behind. Or just shoot him in the face, maybe that will be the best. Well, that was a waste of my ammo. Oh, no. What's my health? Fine and dandy. Risk it. Fuck it. We're having fun. Wow. Okay. So it's enough to be in yellow. I was yellow fine, was I? Man, why didn't I save... No, that we gotta go from way before we yawn. Jesus Christ, Chris, you suck. So yeah, they can decapitate you above yellow, above caution. We know now. It's been a it's been a debate with a friend. It would be it would be it would be less painful if I died there with those two that tortured me than with this guy. I swear. <laughs> After all of this. Man, all I had to do was grab one more thing and get out of the mansion. I'll, 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 I would already be on my way to the fucking uh, laboratory. So next time after I'm done with this, I'm saving. Don't fuck around with Chris. Can't even kill them with the Magnum. I will need it. Drop that. Do not drop. Actually, drop that as well. Don't don't bring it. That's what I was trying to say. Bring. Uh, did we bring more health? Nah, I think one will be enough. I forgot if I brought more health. Let's count. Yeah, I did bring one more. I think I brought I brought two. Cause I'm gonna use one for sure with yawn. What else was there? Am I missing something? Let's go, let's go, let's see. Uh, I brought the Beretta for zombies after Yawn, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna need both anyway, so fuck it. That, there's nothing to pick up. Ah, uh, but I do need the key, that's right, that's right. How am I gonna get into the room if I don't have the key? There you go. Let's try it again. That this includes that that hunter that was that I was lucky enough for him to miss with the I think that was the decapitation. Let's see how the how it turns out this time. Oh, I think I know what happened. I know what happened. I just it just hit me. I think he was at critical health. They headhunt, so they do headhunting. I'm pretty sure they do it when you're at critical health and when they're at critical health as well. That's what happened. Ah. Ah. Fuck you, guy. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. There you go. Can I pistol him from here? No, I didn't bring the pistol. Damn. Who, whoever had the decision to remove auto-aim <laughs> for, 
for the Western release. I hope they played it with our auto aim. 30 times on loop. <laughs> I'm in yellow caution, so one or two bites from Yon will be enough. Well, that's one blind snake. Check. There you go. That was less pain painful than last time. There's a lot of RNG in these games. That helps or, or doesn't help. It's good. It's all good. I'm gonna go back for my trusty Beretta. Not bring the... Do I need it though? Ah, I'm good. I'm not gonna bring the key this time because I'm gonna need it the one time. Before which, I'm gonna save this time, and then that's it. We're back. Yeah, we're back. Back to the storeroom. The doorknob looks like it was made by Disney. Okay. So screw the key for now. Square crank, blah blah. Mm -hmm. Don't bring the herbs, because they're going to have a bunch of them. What else? What else? Bring a Beretta clip. And nothing else, really. Beretta clip. Shotgun. For once we resurface. We We're going to find a lot of shells. What time is it? Yeah, I can still do this. I lost about 30 minutes there. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish it tonight. I'm gonna try. I'm never gonna... <laughs> I'm not... I'm not gonna go with... Uh, <laughs> guarantee it. <laughs> after Chrono Cross. But yeah. yeah. This is no Chrono Cross, definitely. In terms of length. Still though. <laughs> Someone might walk away with my head. Thank you, zombie. If I'm if my memory is correct, there should be a flamethrower in the caverns.
Did I equip the Beretta? I think I have. That guy's gonna be right across from the ladder. Yeah, there you go. God fucking damn it! Every time. Why do you keep walking if you don't if you, if you want to die? It makes no sense. God fucking damn it. Really? Seriously? Get up. <laughs> so many wasted ammo. me of like someone stubbing their toe or maybe making a oh uh, I can't tell it's it sounds like a familiar groan like an old man getting up from a chair with uh, with his back thrown out that's what it reminds me of Two green herbs. I, I did say I will pick up the herbs this time. But I also remember this. Man, distance is really important here. I hate that I know that I can decapitate even the... It's really making me nervous. <laughs> well, let's go. I gotta... Once I'm done with those two in the hallway, I think it will be easier. Is there a good timing for shooting hunters with the shotgun? In this version? Like, is there a... How do you avoid the the iframes? This time, do not bite me. I know you can, but don't. Okay. He died as he lived, dramatically. Did I mix the herbs? Nope. What was this? I think something we can pick up later. Oh no, the, the small key? Yeah, it's a small key. Which we'll use upstairs. Come on. Come on. I guess it was easier to just watch the cutscene than skip it. Uh... No uh... hurry. <laughs> Man, those sounds will never stop being funny. Oh, uh... uh, uh, it's like two different people voicing these zombies. Uh... So when they're dead, dead, they instantly fall. When they're when they're not dead, it'll take some time. Let's go here first. I don't even wanna. I don't even wanna fuck around with uh, with the upstairs before cleaning this part. If I could get the 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 magnum before, but you gotta go here first. If you're not Jill. Thanks, sis. Here we go. B, you unlocked it. 
Ah. Uh. All right, here we go. Oh, ooh la la, let's kill some hunters. Hunter. It's very hard to talk French when we are talking about hunter. No, stop that. Oh, I'm so dead, am I? Just shoot until they die. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep shooting. I hope they all die. Both. It's unlocked. Don't let them! Don't let them! One of them is still alive, I think. Oh boy. Should I even... I'm gonna try with the pistol, it's faster. Oh, they're both dead. Oh! Here we go, here we go. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Piece of cake. I, I'm not even sweating. I'm not even sweating. I am sweating a lot. Because I have to go through this hallway multiple times and they're gonna be in my way here and they're gonna damage me every time. So this is this is much easier. Same for the guy beyond there. I will be back for him later. <laughs> hello, hello, Delmar. Delmar, mon ami. I can't can't remember how do you say how are you in French? I'm gonna say como estas mi amigo. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> semi French, <laughs> some French, some uh, some Spanish, some some German, Serbian, English. We'll we'll get there. Open uh, ouvre la porte. Here we go. Because you, you never say H, you don't pronounce H in in French, so, like, how do you say hunter? Anta? Anta. I know a friend of mine from France would call me EP. EP, come here, EP. It always, it, it left a nice ring in my ears. <laughs> Bilingual, this is a octolingual stream. <laughs> Oui, oui. Elevator going up. That is the, this is the most silent elevator I have ever ridden in. And I'm Chris. I've ridden in many elevators. Oh, almost knocked the controller out of my own hands. <laughs> How are you doing, Delmar? How are you doing, mon ami? Decapitation. Eat dick pussy. <laughs> yes, we have we have weird curse words in French. Oh, we have uh, there is one normal zombie drowning. Look at that gamut. This guy's actually this guy actually sounds like a zombie. Did he bleed out? It's hard to tell on this carpet. Nope. Down, boy. Okay, he's dead, dead. We know that now. What's my health? What's my health? It is fine and dandy. Very fine and very dandy. <laughs> Every fucking time I forget about that guy. I'm, I'm fairly certain he does. He's not there in jail scenario. <laughs> no, that was a good one compared to the guys from before. The R. <laughs> Let's hear, maybe this guy will do the... Ah. Uh, uh. That one. Uh. Ooh, no, 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 no. Monsieur, I am allergic to zombie bites. Uh. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur. Oh. You know, like in... I think it's the original RE1, right? Or which one is it? Maybe from 2 and onwards. Zombies sound really good. I like those groans. But it's the, why did they change them for Saturn? I really gotta research that. See, why Why would you... Why, why would you update that? You had good zombie groans. Did you... 
lose the license from the guy who voiced them in the, in the PlayStation version? What's the deal? There's another normal zombie. No! He's dead. Oh, he's not dead? He's dead. Is he dead? He's dead. Not dead. Dead. There you go. Wait, 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 French episode? Don't remember. Don't remember the French episode. Why is it so cold again? Is the temperature dropping? Five degrees. Okay, it is dropping. Brrr. Five Celsius. So that's what, like... 45? I don't know. Nobody knows Fahrenheit. Well, I shouldn't have fucked around. Sir, please. I mean, how many bullets do you need? You won, sir. You won. <laughs> Mr. Bean's trying to talk. That's something to see. <laughs> Too many things are happening. Should I laugh? Should I cry? A bit of both. A bit of both, really. Oh, that's, that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, was there anything useful there in the room? I think I think just a clip, but just a clip right now is pretty useful with Chris. I do miss the bazooka and the two inventory slots, but Rebecca, like I said, Rebecca made all this worth it. Specifically, Chris and Rebecca <laughs> talking to each other. What the fuck am I gonna do when the ticks appear? Later. You can beat the game without ever seeing this. I guess it would just like to give you hope when you're playing for the first time. Stop looking over the window. Oh, I just wanted to move, Chris. Can we turn without you looking through the window? Thank you. Did I change? Okay. I did. I did. I did so much. Well, now we need the no disc. More. <laughs> More. Maybe that's what they're trying to tell you. Take the mo disc to, to rescue Joe. Oh, I still haven't eaten that. Hold on. Too many things happening. I'll try this time without the light. Let's see. It's almost the same. Ah, oh, it's almost the same statue as uh, as in RE2, uh, next to the knife where you put the the rubies. What are they called? Virgin hearts. Jesus Christ. I just heard the meow and she launched herself into my lap. Meow. 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 Adorable. Right, don't, don't over push it. I want to over push it. Again, <laughs> I guess a thing you can only hear playing Resident Evil. Watch out, don't over push it. Yeah, it works, you don't need the light. The light is just to tell you where to push it. You know, I'm really missing people commenting on the situation. I mean, Chris. Ad-libbing everything. What would Chris's ad-libs be? <laughs> would, he, would he have those one-liners? I guess we got to the root of the problem. <laughs> I 
Did I unlock it? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Mister, I only need six pockets. On my special force uniform. Moa, <laughs> moa power. <laughs> Come on, Chris, you need more power. I gotta come back. There's no. Yeah, no other way. I gotta come back. Now, for those two guys up there, I should have mixed more herbs. This was a mistake, but uh, we'll we'll make the best of it. It's important to kill the ambusher. The other guy can suck it. I have only one, and I can't mix. Why is that elevator so so silent? I can't mix them because I got no space. So. Is there more herbs back there? Oh no, I got those. That's what I used for that hunter. That's right. Oh man, that, that shortcut up there would really help with the password door. Yeah, it is. Still, I <laughs> need, need... So I'm gonna go to the safe room now. Gonna kill those hunters in the ambush and save this time right after that. Before going back for the battery and... Because after battery and... Uh, and the Magnum, we're done. We can go to the laboratory and... It shouldn't take too long. We're gonna see the ultimate life form. <laughs> no, don't come this way! How many in the barrel? Five. Should be enough for one hunter. So they need three or four shotgun shells. Oh... Can I just can I run around him? Fuck that. You and your iframes. Wow. Fuck this. Jesus. How do they? How do you miss with a shotgun? It's like sh it's shooting like this. It's not even shooting like one point. It's shooting like it doesn't spread like in the games. But oh, nervous, nervous, nervous. Fuck that. And he's out of ammo, and the hunter is gonna be right there in his face. I'm gonna try. Fuck it. Re if I have to restart again, I'll just leave it for episode three. I don't have the the, the stamina for this right now. You agree, kitty, huh? Fuck. Door. Okay, that guy was important. Everything else can suck it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so fast for for me I'm I'm walking like <laughs> I'm walking like a robot controlled the analog sticks but not just analog sticks legacy setup analog sticks you know when you can just when you use the left stick for uh, turning and moving forward and backward and then the right stick for looking up and down I don't even have a right stick here and they can fly up down left right they can absorb shotgun shells Yeah, that guy is not important. These guys here, if I can avoid them, I will. And then I will save. Da, is it time for da? Okay, let's go kill some hunters and pray we don't get killed. Whoa. This is scary. <laughs> Open, stupid door. <laughs> I am now Slavic Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's not Arnold. That's... What is that?
What is that? Nikola Juricko, I guess. <laughs> Bring more health. <laughs> Thicken the accent. Even Drago, yeah. Well, no, he was Russian. <laughs> he was Russian. Russian. Wait, what am I missing? Increment. Not gonna fall for that this time. <laughs> no, no, being cocky and in a run you're not good as. You can say you can. Let's try this Serbian. You can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? <laughs> That's. That's something. Okay, no more taking me back to the past to filthy animals. I I really don't know why I didn't save before this. Run, Chris. Chrissy. Oh, good thing they, they start slow. They start very slow. They go tippy taps and then they go surprise, motherfucker, and they take your head. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Yes, I need more heart attack. Thank you, game. Couldn't avoid that one. <laughs> Another scary door opens. In the darkness of the night, we see... I mean, we see... A room. A room! Yeah, I'm gonna need all this. No, not the orders. I'm gonna need the shells and the, and the magnum ammo. Yes, take the shells. And the magnum ammo. And the bad clip and you got that. All of it, take it. Take it all. Nothing important. And uh, Chris doesn't want it unless it glitters. Can you climb? Can you climb? Oh, Boulder Master. <laughs> Will you try and take out the eyeball? <laughs> Oh yeah, I still keep forgetting to eat. That's it. Okay. I'm still pretty killable, but not as bad as it was. I think I dropped the Beretta, right? Yeah, so we got... We got all we need for this section. I'm just gonna pass that guy there. Fuck you, guy! Fuck you, guy! <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it was. I guess it changed its mind. It was like load, don't load, load. Nah, don't load. I load. <laughs> do it for him. You see, these hunters are torturing him. <laughs> 
Okay, so I grabbed the Magnum. All I have to grab is shotgun shells, Magnum ammo, and the battery. And I have space for that. And some herbs. Let's get the herbs first so we can mix them. Well, I guess that's not going to happen. I guess, I don't know if I could have avoided that guy. What would happen next time? So if he jumps the first time, that, we'll do it in the next playthrough, I'm gonna try. Like, if I avoid him, somehow, would he, uh, would he spawn in a different place next time? Picture of this mansion, huh? Why am I going there? There's nothing there. Is there? No, there isn't. I gotta go the other way. I keep thinking about the closet, even though... That's the, that's the remake. <laughs> the, the room where the closet is now, in this one. But we don't need to go there again at all, I think. Ever. So right now I'm going to go upstairs and grab the rest, that's right. We got the two greens from the, from the basement. Nice detail how, what is that, like humidity that leaked over the years. Wham, wham. Holy shit, I just realized I can't go back the same way like I would with Jill. That means I gotta pass two, at least two hunters in a narrow hallway. I'm just gonna run past them, I'll try. Either that or go through the spider hallway and then hunter hallway. It's easier to go, oh, but there's another hunter there. Shit, I know what I'm gonna do, I remember now. Go through the botany book room. So what's left? First thing that's left is take this herb here and heal. Like in instantly, don't even think about it. Just. Smoke it, Chris. Calm your nerves down. You just lost your head 20 minutes ago. Fine and dandy. Then we have magnum bullets here, and we have, I think, just two shotgun shells and the battery. That's it. He disappears the moment <laughs> the, the drawer opens. That's adorable. Just enough space, just enough. Twenty-eight thirty-five again. Less shells than last time, but more head on the shoulders, so it yeah. evens out. So forty-two total. 18, 24 Magnum. 
man, it's not not perfect, but better. I'm sure I'll find more. And if I avoid those two assholes, it's gonna be really fine and dandy. That's it. There's more herbs, but I have no room. That's okay. Maybe I should have mixed that one with uh, while I had the room. Now, when I think about it, I should have. But shoulda, woulda, coulda. Doesn't matter. I still have enough. I have a whole like if 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 they if Iron Scott Chris with his inventory, we just send them straight to jail. Can I solve the case, Chief? Nah, you're good. <laughs> you solved all the cases. She is so lovable. Yawn. She just woke up and sat up. <laughs> Almost expect her to light a cigarette. Or something. So now I gotta go straight through the hole. I did save a little before this, so fuck it. Did I? Yeah, I did. Man, I really, really, really like the music of RE1. This mansion music specifically. First and second floor both have two themes. One for, you know, initial and the other one that's just now playing. Well, this is first floor, but yeah. When you're back from the guardhouse. Here we go, kitty. I'll make it more. There you go. Did I get the increment here? I probably have, but yeah, I did. I always forget this exists. <laughs> I didn't even discover it till like the third playthrough or something. Third? More like 30th. Alright, I chose second floor because I think <laughs> it'll be easier. I can totally be wrong here, but I'll try. They shouldn't headhunt if I don't touch them, and if they don't touch me, or at least they don't touch me too much, so... Everybody hope! Let's check the map, just to be sure what I'm doing before I fuck up. So just go, yeah, counterclockwise, all the way to that room where we found the body book, and I'll go through the broken door, just run past that hunter and down the stairs, and Bob's your uncle or whatever. We did it. Now that's the plan. Reality could be totally different, but uh, well, let's find out. <laughs> There's two two of them, I think, here. So you can pass them if you... Oh, there's another one. No! Ooh, okay, that's what I'm afraid of. Don't let them do that. I hit the wall, didn't even see I hit the wall. I just enter here and die now. <laughs> Good. Ah, risk it. At least we'll find. So if if we're we're gonna find out now, do they hand headhunt based on your HP or theirs? Like, do they headhunt at, ye at yellow, um, yellow, fi yellow fine? Ah. Fuck you, guy. Ah, oh, I worked. Sometimes it's better to sacrifice a few herbs than a few bullets. Or, um... <gasps> Whoa, there's a hunter here? Whoa, you're not fucking around, game. I thought this was a safe room. 
there's a there's an event in the remake in this room with Chris and Rebecca, but I didn't know there was a hunter here. I never. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, now we're good. I don't think he can jump down. He doesn't even care about me apparently. Maybe I ran too fast. He didn't even notice me. He was like, "What was that? It was a blur." <laughs> was it Roadrunner? All right. That did take, I forgot how, how long, but actually I can tell because I remember the comment <laughs> when I was headhunted. Man, it took almost an hour since I got headhunted to get here. That's how much I, I lost. So I lost over 30 minutes there. That's how I know. Don't even bring the python for now so no not, not that this 18 yeah 24 like I said there is huh oh there you know what I'm talking about uh, Rebecca being cornered by that hunter maybe maybe if we so maybe <laughs> when Rebecca says can I come with you maybe if you say no so she doesn't help you with plan 42 maybe that's how this happens because of we know that in re1 in the original these um, some of these events are triggered by weird stuff like by, by stuff you wouldn't expect it to be connected so like who was it yesterday that told me was it sky or someone else pardon me someone said uh, that if you if you tell rebecca to come with you she will help you with Plan 42, which is, it doesn't matter, that's like two days later, huh? but if you don't, she won't. So maybe, I know there there's events like that with Jill and Barry, I told you about it, zombie. If you go <clears throat> to pick up the bazooka first, you'll have the, uh, my god, it's forest scene. But if you don't, you can get another scene. I think that's how you trigger the one with uh, where Barry actually reads the Martin Crackhorn letter and rips a part of it out. I think that's how you trigger that. Don't forget the crank. We're gonna need the square crank. Man, how do you do this with six inventory slots? And not even a partner to exchange items with. I hope one of them didn't spawn there. Or two, God forbid. Just have knife. Listen to him. Just have knife. Why not? Fuck, knives are for pussies, man. I'm gonna bring a fork. <laughs> I'm gonna stab them in the, in the eye. <laughs> what do you think I am? Professor Wesker? Hello, Teste. Hello. Welcome to the stream, my friend. How was your day? Okay, Eileen, I'm coming. I hope your back is as red as I remember it. I'm sorry, I gotta hear. Hold on. No! No! I didn't save in a while! Oh! <laughs> oh, God. Oh. That's okay. We'll be back with with the Magnum, I guess. I don't know what to save. Don't fuck with them. Save. I, I keep saving these Zinc Ribbons and like... When you're used to playing these games without saving, I gotta remember to save. <laughs> everything. You could just redeem everything. I gotta put one everything in like million points. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Here we go, Lupka. What was it? Save, heal, I'm gonna go backwards. With stretch. <sighs> hmm. Drink. Ah. 
ah. And then I healed. Yeah, I did. And I'll save. <laughs> you know what? Fuck that guy. Why would I be afraid of him? I'm just gonna pass him next time. Not even gonna dignify him with a bullet. <clears throat> if I save here, I really wanted to save in the cavern, but there's no item box in the cavern, so this this could be better. Don't bring health, just bring fucking ink ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, here we go. Mm -mm. We have to put the cookie down in the mansion storeroom on the first floor. It's a very strange storeroom. There's nothing to store here. Charge. <laughs> <laughs> Open up, stupid door. I will kick the stairs and the mansion down. I will punch it. <laughs> That's his superpower. I will punch the mansion and just turn it to dust. <laughs> Thank you, Testy. I would love to, really. <laughs> I love making voices. Which is where this came from, so... <laughs> Come on, shotgun, you have to protect me. I will hug you for warmth. Wait, there was a show. What was it? What was the name of the guy? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Police officer. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 missed me, asshole. <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Come here. I want to give you the bullets. <laughs> Imagine fucking Greg is. <laughs> Imagine Greg is uh, <laughs> as as Arnold. <laughs> One masterpiece is enough. <laughs> Mass production ridiculous. <laughs> no, not here. <laughs> Come on, daylight, daylight is it. I cannot hand it over to Umbrella. They're the ones responsible for the ca catastrophe that has befallen the city. <laughs> I have been monitoring your progress from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it was you or... I think it was you who explained that to me when I would ask you, why do you keep typing kick, 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 kick? Are you Spongebob? <laughs> snakes! Oh my god, not the snakes! <laughs> yeah, it was, I think it was test day when I asked, why do you, why do you type kick, 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 kick? Yeah. <laughs> the first thing I think of is Spongebob, really. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that too. When I saw it, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, they're still alive? Why? Oh, well, fuck them. I ain't afraid of no bitches. Except when my battery fails. Come on, better you get into the slot. <laughs> oh, he's famous for a lot of stuff. We love his accent, obviously. But if you love accents, you gotta love Schwarzenegger's accent. <laughs> but that that scene, Susie 9 mm in Conquer, the first time I saw it, <laughs> I cracked up so hard. <laughs> you know, with the hay bot, the, the hay the hay stack that turns into a terminator, fires that rockets, he says Susie 9 millimeter. And this rocket like, just pops up on his shoulder. I'm right here, sweetie pie. <laughs> Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I 
Okay. Square dance time. <laughs> no game is a horror game when he's playing. <laughs> Stupid pool. I don't have a fool. A fool? I am a fool without the pool. <laughs> You good there, Cable? Cable, that stupid Cable, get off of my foot. <laughs> now imagine these dogs, this Cerberi in the forest uh, howling, it replace them with Schwarzenegger's come out. Every time they howl, instead you see, you hear, come out, come out. <laughs> Come out, out, out. <laughs> You know the picture of <laughs> you know the picture of uh, that old photo of Ooh Bitches Wow that was That was pro that totally by accident <laughs> as it goes in this hand in this game. Sometimes you don't even like you expect to be attacked, bitten, whatever. Like that hunter, before you came in, Dusty, there was a hunter <laughs> that he missed me as if he was blind. Uh, that's the one. Yeah, it's an old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, a pink ribbon, I could save my progress. This is, uh, is this hexagonal? Yeah. Can I even pick up what I'm about to find? Yeah, I can. I got no help and I got a bunch of ammo. So I'm just going to run. Not even going to fight those hunters in the back. Just run, run, run. Run. No, I can't run. He's got to pick up the flamethrower or something. Or maybe it's right here. Who knows? Right here. It's not even the hunters. It's ticks. That's what's scary. Yeah, there's the flamethrower. 240. That's a weird number. Did I just lock myself in or something? I forgot the Chris scenario, please. Can't throw flame for 9 seconds with max fuel. 9 seconds total. That's, let's go, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I guess that's okay. But please. What was it? Oh, sure. Permit. I gotta turn that off. We don't have. It's more detrimental <laughs> than. It's more. It doesn't help as much as I hoped. And then. Test day. Wait, why are you not. The, the test day drive. There you go. Now you can. Come out and post the clip. <sighs> what happens now? Does the door lock? Yep. What does that mean for the giant spider? I'm gonna find a broken flamethrower or something, am I? It means it's got a use as well? Oh, it doesn't have use. Okay, that's how it works. Wimpy sandwich. Pro moves. <laughs> Thanks, Dusty. Thanks for the clip, man. Hmm. Come on, cave. I have to go through ya. So there we're gonna have ticks, Saturn exclusive enemies, which are basically reskin hunters. They have some similar move sets, and they also have insta kill attacks. So we gotta be careful. Oh wait, this is. We're not gonna have Enrico. We we're not gonna have the best scene, man. So I'm there. I can go left and check what's there before hunters attack, right? I mean, ticks. I mean, ticks. Ticks is what I mean. Shells, please be shells. Yes, shells. Yeah, they are. But they're more. What's scary to me here is the lack of auto aim. So. So. 
oh, it's, it's, a, it's not just a power generator, it's a nuclear power generator. I guess Spencer had a lot of money. So any version before director's cut of RE1, it had that auto aim removed and hunters are just too cheap without it. There's the room that was supposed to go even deeper. They did that in the remake. Because a lot of areas were cut in the OG or RE1. Resident Evil 1, for sure. You have, just because, the original Resident Evil 1, just because, like I said, just because of the lack of auto-aim, it makes them really hard. That and their iframes. Just earlier, I had so much trouble, wasted so many shells shooting through them. Because when you stun them, they fall down, they get up, and they instantly headhunt. They, or, they, or they do a jump attack. And until they're done with all that, you can't shoot them. So sometimes I did it in one moment there somehow timed it perfectly as they get up but man yeah re3 beta hunters are fierce and fast very easy to headhunt but man you have some weapons with them with with carlos you have the assault rifle even on hard with jill you have a whole arsenal here with chris against these guys Wait, where's Enrico? There he is. Enrico! Don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser! Don't! Ah. Ah, hell. Umbrella. He says even less. Who is it? I is someone there? No, the bullet just came into the room and killed him by itself. <laughs> oh my God, these guys! What did you say, Chris and Rebecca? We need more Chris and Rebecca games. It's just there, there. <laughs> he couldn't have moved because of his injury. He's holding something. Yeah, he's holding his dignity because you took it from him, dumbass. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to say no to this. Because it's Chris. Wait, is he holding something else or just the clip? Oh, it's, it's really, I'm out of ammo in Rebe Rebetta, <laughs> Beretta, fuck it, take it. <laughs> yeah, he should have shot Chris, but not Enrico was gonna die anyway. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna use the pistol still. I know it's Chris, but fuck it. Literally, fuck it. I guess he's got nothing else. There should be a crank here. Oh boy, there's a tick for you. Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. Fuck him. Whoa, you can't take the item? Okay. Still fine and dandy. Whoa, dude, you just started. Stop that. Chris can't hit the door. <laughs> there was two more hits. I hoped there would be one or zero. There was two extra hits. Don't like it? Turn left, run through the door. Hope you have your head once you're done. Shit, man, they can... I gotta put the flamethrower. <gasps> flamethrower, I have a flamethrower. What the fuck am I doing? I did save before this. <sighs> Not good, not good. I'm gonna die so bad. I gotta go back to the mansion. Yeah, I'm here, don't worry. So Lyubka, I don't know if you know, did you see the command? Yeah, there you go, she knows, she knows. Bravo, Lyubka. You have 120 seconds. <laughs> Oh, uh, was someone there? No, he just randomly died. Wow, you die? Wow, there goes my nine seconds. Half of it done already. Mm. 
Those infernal noises are infernal. <laughs> They're horrible. Okay, I gotta go thr run, run through the dogs. Because there's gonna be a tick here too, is there? Run through the dogs. And that hunter to get... Man, I'm not gonna make it. <gasps> I know how I can make it. I can go to the guardhouse. That's that's the way I can make it. If, this, if there's there, there should be a tick here, it could just... I think they rip your guts out or something as their finisher. Oh, there's no tick. I feel like one of them is just gonna get out the door. Don't risk it. Let's be smart. Yes, I will. I guess, or maybe they, they ignore Wesker. Was it William that gave him the modified virus? Nah, no crate here. As, as far as I remember, there isn't one until the Black Tiger. Dogs can't kill me in one bite, right? I still need to be dangerous, so... What do you mean send you? Send you, like how? Like, the actual file? Jeez. <laughs> I was wrong to not play Chris all these all these years. I only played Jill Jill scenario, but I'm also glad I didn't because it wouldn't be this funny if I knew if I remembered everything, especially the Rebecca part. I think that's that's one of my favorite <laughs> that's my favorite unintentionally funny cutscene in the video game ever. <laughs> I uh, I've been thinking about it the whole day. You want me to come with you? Yes. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> I'll be there in a few days. Don't worry. <laughs> She was there when we needed her, truth be told, but thank you, Teste. <laughs> but still, <laughs> so we don't need the other crank anymore. We don't need the square one. Square, then we have the room for that. Maybe, just maybe I should have brought this cold python for them, but... On the other hand, maybe I shouldn't have. See, I could have brought that clip. Bring one health. Five. Five of those. Two greens and one double green. Okay, that's enough. Do I need anything else for this? No, just that. Yeah. Can you download? Wait, are you... I think Dupka can as a mod. I'm not sure if you can. Testing. Wow, what travesty. I thought I gave you... I thought you're a VIP, Testy. Hold on. Do you have another Twitch account? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Smart Smarty Pants. <laughs> Did you Do you have another Twitch account? Cuz I know you have multiple Discord accounts. <laughs> So what would happen if a Brazilian and a Russian hacker met? <laughs> would they hack each other to <laughs> to oblivion? I mean, I know you can download it <laughs> with uh, video download helper and similar tools, but I meant like legally, <laughs> legally. I thought I heard the tick and I heard my life tick away. <laughs> Skip. It's not even a cutscene. You're just spinning a fucking crank. Spinning, I mean turning, but yeah.
My phone keeps vibrating, but there's nothing happening. I did not save in that save room, did I? It's just like me. I went all the way to a save room and I didn't save. <laughs> uh, I gotta check if there's ink ribbon there. <laughs> You're sorry? For what? Sorry about that. Does this lock something? That's good for the Spiderino. And I'm locked, am I? Yeah, okay. Can you even... I wonder. I'm gonna try. Does it matter? I think you gotta stop going back. Yep. Yeah, that's what I meant. What about Xiaomi? How did we get from the clip clip and Russian hackers and Brazilian hackers to Xiaomi? That's that's quite a segue. <laughs> huh? Oh, fuckers. Should I burn it with fire? Or shoot it with the shotgun? Look at that. That's what I'm afraid of. They're very cheap. You're still alive. Dude. You can still shoot. Man, it's such a waste of bullets with them. Wow. Wow, is that seven? <laughs> no, I didn't hear what happened in Brazil. What do you have against Xiaomi, though? I remember that from uh, from the past. You made fun of it. I don't get it. What's funny about it? <laughs> it was you and someone else from family, also. I don't. I don't get the jokes. <laughs> I really don't. The cap? Oh, I didn't know that test day. Damn. Everything okay? I mean, with you? Am I good? Will I survive with two herbs? Let's find out. How vulnerable is the black tiger to the... To the flamethrower? Hmm. Let's find out. Last time it killed me. <laughs> but I did save last time. This time I didn't save. Oh, wow. It's that bad. Hold on, guys, I gotta focus just for this. Stop spitting. Man, this flamethrower is shit. Stop spitting. Am I dead? Almost. It's really dumb not to have any uh, greens on me. I mean, blues. Holy shit, that's fast for a spy. I'm dead. That's it. I fucked up. I gotta get behind it and shoot it before it can turn. That's just impossible. Is it even hurting it? It's out. Holy shit, I'm dead. There you go. <laughs> Because it is cheap and good metal quality and everyone just force it. Really? I'm sorry you guys have that opinion. <laughs> it's the best phone I had, honestly. It's the best phone I had after Lumia 735, honestly. How long is this? Three years now? Four years I've had the same phone. No issues. It works. Just like the first day. No memory issues, no... Uh, no, none of that. You have to uninstall an app <laughs> so you can answer my message, Lyubka. I'm sorry, man. 
guys stop attacking me while I attack you. What do you mean? To explain the capital? Well, I think he's trying to say what happened in the US in 2020, 2019. Excuses, excuses. Holy shit, I saved there. Okay, so I know I know now what awaits me. I need the square crank. I I don't need help. Do I need health? Nah. I'm not gonna need help. <laughs> You could say that, yeah. You could say that. I laughed first time. I think my friend Jiggy again showed me Xiaomi 2018, I think. I was like, <laughs> you, you got a phone that's called Xiaomi, man. But uh, he said, oh, I got it for like 200 euros. Look at the components it has. I look at the under the hood. Holy fucking shit. That's a lot of power for a 200 euro phone. But I still had my Lumia back then. So destroy the spider web. I never thought of that, Teste. Honestly, here we go. I'm I'm telling you right now, I never thought of that <laughs> as an option to just to just avoid <laughs> to just go past the spider and cut the web. Never thought of that. So you can just skip the boss. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna try that now. Actually, I'm gonna try not fighting it, but bring blue herbs this time. It's 9:30 already. Shit. Yeah, I will. I will. Wow, look at that, a blind dodge. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Did you do that? Did you ever do that? Um, Teste. I think you need like four knife swings for that. <laughs> but I saw the news from the people. this way we didn't fix the elevator you can't use the elevator that doesn't work so let's say I fix it this time and I go straight to the guardhouse oh you never okay okay I'm wondering why it makes sense actually to do that maybe just can you do it with a flamethrower though I wonder if you can do it with a flamethrower. That would have been very sexy. Just burned it off. Shit, man. I should really, really stop here. Oh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make this into episode 3. I just realized what time it is. And I got a, I got a driving class early in the morning. And then a big company meeting, so I should really, really sleep well. I'm not going to finish this for at least an hour. Not even if I run. <laughs> so, that, yeah, that's the best course of action. I'm going to be very smart here and just end it here. Not going to force to finish. <laughs> We're going to have another episode of Laughters. Hello, Carter. What? <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> Hello, Peter, I guess. Let's see who we can raid. Who we can raid someone. Uh... Oh, that's what the... what That's what the vibrations were. Like, all the people going live on Twitch. Mm. So... Twitch... Switch. There we go. Raid. Very smart comrade, bro. From Froster who sells. Okay, okay. German ads. It, it, it makes sense. You have regional ads, right? All the the ads. If we get ads, so far I think. Did they add Serbian ads to Twitch? They used to be just like American ads. <laughs> 
Wait, who am who was I gonna who who am I gonna read? Let's say Sega fan. Retro, it looks like a squared JRPG. I can't tell much from the thumbnail, but here we go. Yeah, we get American ads. Well, up until last year, I think, or something, we had none, so there were no, no raid ads, no ads in Serbia for Twitch. But I think they added them last year. First Thank American, then you. maybe they are Serbian. But yeah, fuck all that. Thanks everyone for watching again. <laughs> so we're gonna you. Uh, update the schedule tomorrow, if not tonight. We're gonna finish this next stream tomorrow, and then. We go off to Code Veronica. <laughs> Thanks for all the laughter. Bye. The chat. Good night, everyone. <laughs> and say hi to Sega fan.